Next is Living Hangman's Alley by Z140. This is going to play some settlers in Hangman's Alley. And some are going to be guards, some are going to be farmers, and one of them is actually going to be a medic. However, the medic would not move at all. They just would not sandbox in the area or interact with the nearby items. So the NPCs aren't named like the ones that were in the Red Rocket version. And if you show up here for the first time with this mod installed, the settlers will actually be fighting the raiders. So I'm actually going to pass on this one because it was just really basic compared to the Red Rocket version and the Oberlin Station variants. So speaking of the Ober Oberlin Station, uh, we have the Living Oberlin Station mod by Z140. And this one is a huge improvement. This is a thriving settlement with pre-built shacks, farms, and stores. And there are a lot of settlers here, like at the very start. So I want to say I saw at least eight settlers here, and they are very much taken care of. So before you even get control of the settlement, there are a bunch of pre-made structures and, you know, like water and food and Brahmin feed thoroughs and stuff like that to already, you know, take care of them. So... It makes me less encouraged to build here since they are, you know, they already have everything they need and it just saves me the time of having to build here. Not to mention once you do gain control of this place, you get access to all the food and water that they already have going on here. So I think this one is good and as long as it doesn't bring me any problems, I am going to keep this one. Next is Simple Dodges, and this is the Dodge mod. There's a few Dodge mods for Fallout 4 on the Nexus, but where this one shines is its input response time. So if you hit the button, your character dodges, you know, with very little delay. Other Dodge mods I have tried are very laggy, and with this one, it's so responsive you can even cancel dodges into you know more dodges so you could just cancel a dodge mid dodge into another one so in my opinion where this mod gets held back is in the mods controls so dodging is actually activated by holding in the direction and then hitting the bash key this is very bothersome for me i would have much rather it be over the vats button since i don't even use vats in fallout 4 and I actually sent the author of this mod a PM and they said that they weren't able to put it over VATS. So that's very unfortunate in my opinion. And being that you can't, you know, toggle this mod on and off uh, mid playthrough with like a hollow tape or an MCM, I'm probably going to have to pass on this one. While it does feel very responsive, just, you know, having to risk my character do doing a dodge as opposed to bashing the enemy is just something that I'm not very comfortable with. Next is Living Jamaica Plain, and it's like the other living mods by Zed. This is going to add settlers and pre-made building objects to the settlement of Jamaica Plain. So when you first arrive here, the settlers will be fighting the horde of ghouls that's all around here. And to my knowledge, nothing has been changed. When I first approached the settlement, it still told me that I had to... Uh, um, you know, I had to do something before I gained control of the settlement rather than saying that I need to clear out the area It said that I wasn't allied with this settlement I guess being that you know settlers were already occupied here It just gave me that message as opposed to telling me that I need to clear out all enemies um, All the enemies are still here. They haven't been touched when you first walk up into this place and go up to the top floor There's still ghouls right there ready to wake up and attack you and then when you go over to you know, the other building that has like this charred ghoul and more sleeping ghouls. Everything is still there. Nothing has been touched. So I think this mod is actually okay. The settlers here are pretty taken care of. There's about three turrets on the roof and there's some beds inside. They're like these military 
uh, bed frames with sleeping bags laid on top of them. However, you can sleep on them for as many hours as you want, even if you're in survival mode. So they actually count as beds and not sleeping bags. So I think this mod is actually okay. It did come with a BA2 file with some meshes in it. I have no idea why it needed to do that. Maybe I need to talk to the mod author about that because all the items that I've seen in this mod appear to be vanilla. So uh, this one I'm kind of on the fence about because it did come with those extra meshes, but assuming it doesn't have any bugs, I'll probably end up keeping this one as well. Next is the BZW Modern Warfare Mara outfit. And it's, pre it's pretty modular. You have the suit and vest, and then you have additional parts like the leg hollister, torso harness, radio, and a hair wig. So I like this armor. It's compatible with CBVE and it has body slide support. The textures on this armor look really great and the file size is less than 50 megabytes. It's safe to merge and you can craft this at the chem bench. So there's really nothing to dislike about this mod. I am definitely going to keep this one. And that's going to do it for me on this one. I will place the links for all the mods showcased in this video in the description below. And I will see you all later.